it's you know a virus that definitely has changed the way that we think about things and it's not been you know strictly by the book for every patient we've got patients that have symptoms for just a couple days and some that have symptoms for 30 plus days some patients that just have loss of taste and smell um, some that just have really really bad headaches our largest day we saw 289 just between 8 and 3 p.m. and what symptoms you have right now? Uh, sore throat, headache, uh, a little nausea and um, they say sore throat, I'm sorry, headache and can't taste anything. Okay. Now as far as like positivity rates, they fluctuated some, definitely decreased over the last couple of weeks, but we've been sitting pretty much at about a, between the 18 and the 15 percent positivity rate for the people that do come through for testing. My, my concern and my fear is uh, that someone who is generally doing well today uh, isn't doing well tomorrow. You know, one of the most impactful recollections I have is uh, a coworker who ended up becoming infected. Uh, through a household contact and her course of illness was very severe. She developed pneumonia and ended up on life support. Her father had passed away I think a, a, a day before Father's Day which was uh, quite heartbreaking. The vast majority of people do well but it's the people that get severe illness and end up in the hospital or in the intensive care units that really put a strain on our medical systems.